now let's see the application of uh, artificial intelligence now uh, first application when the artificial intelligence uh, uh, start uh, the concepts uh, comes to the picture after that the first application uh, for the artificial intelligence uh, was the expert system okay and the first expert system uh, were developed related with the field medical diagnosis okay now we'll uh, understand this what exactly mean by the expert system okay first we understand what is actually mean by the expert system okay now expert system uh, in the general uh, uh, if you take the general meaning expert system is something which is uh, uh, having the knowledge about that particular thing understood that expert of particular uh, what you can say the expert of particular uh, subject area or the sector that particular thing we are uh, referring it as an expert for example if you take the example of doctor okay so doctor is the expert uh, related with the various kind of uh, health problem or the uh, related to the various kind of disease uh, okay and uh, uh if you if you go to the doctor and uh, uh if he check you and uh, if you find the symptoms like the uh, what you can say the headache uh temperature above certain levels high level temperature uh, if you a person having the breathing problem then from that the doctor can easily tell that you are having the symptoms of the uh corona disease okay so there the, that doctor as a human being is now become the expert understood it is being considered as a human expert understood so now we don't don't want the doctor as a human being to be a expert we want something as a uh, non natural system non natural system as a expert system understood so how the non natural system can become the expert system and that for that purpose now non natural system as a expert system can be nothing but the a machine yes or no so here i can you can read the definition of what exactly mean by the experts in artificial intelligence and expert system is a computer system that emulate the decision making ability of human expert means computer system in the sense the machine that emulate meaning of the emulates is copying means copy or the replica replicate okay the machine who can make the decision just like the human being the way human being uh, making the decision here i told you related with the doctor the way doctor is making the decision we want to develop a machine a computer system who can make the decision or who can make the uh, who can copy the decision same like the decision being made by the human expert then that system is called as what the expert system developing the non natural system who can make the decision like the human expert that is called as what the expert system and such kind of expert system can only be developed using the artificial intelligence that is being developed as a first uh, uh medical di medical diagnosis expert system okay so now we are also going to develop uh, in our practical own expert system that is related with the medical diagnosis uh, and for that purpose we are going to utilize the prolog language okay programming in logic that language with that with the help of that language we are going to develop the sample expert system so you know to develop the expert system there is a a uh, huge role of the artificial intelligence okay now here as you can see the how the doctor can tell you you have the corona because doctor has taken the degree he has uh, learned the number of things etc etc understood now if you want the computer should recognize whether you have the particular disease or not so in case of that you need to put that kind of information as a programming intelligence uh, so uh, you, you need to put the intelligence within a 
that particular system by using some programming concept understood that is required as a programming intelligence understood so unless and until you put that particular information knowledge within a computer system or within that machine until that that machine will not able to tell you or that until that that machine not uh, will able to behave like the human expert understood so you know to put that kind of knowledge within that machine there is a use of various kind of language and prolog language language is the one of that kind of language uh, who can make the machine who can make that machine expert just like the human expert understood so expert system is nothing but like making the computer system uh, uh, intelligent uh, able to make the decision just like the human expert emulating the decision making ability of the human expert okay so that is nothing but what one of the application of the artificial intelligence as the expert system developing the expert system using the artificial intelligence it is possible to develop the various kind of expert system okay now uh, just move forward to the next uh, cons next application that is the natural language processing okay now the term itself uh, giving us the idea natural language processing natural which are the natural language like english hindi marathi uh, urdu these are the various kind of uh, natural languages are there okay so this is also the one separate field uh, being the uh, sub field of the computer science information engineering and the artificial intelligence now what exactly is this natural language processing okay so natural language processing is nothing but what just like when i am speaking with you in the english you process whatever i am speaking with you you analyze that okay that is nothing but the processing of natural language and if i ask if i ask you the question after i ask you the question you analyze my question my language uh, process it and then you will give me the answer in the same language understood so the natural language is simply nothing but what processing and analyzing large amount of natural language data understood now just like i am speaking with you in the english you are understanding it how you can understand it you process it analyze it understood and then it become possible for you uh, to understand it we want the program we want to develop a particular machine okay we want to develop the particular computer who can process and analyze the large amount of natural language data just like human beings are processing and analyzing large amount of natural language data when i am speaking with you, you you analyze and process natural language data we want to what we want we want to develop such kind of computer or the machine who can process and analyze this kind of large amount of natural language data understood that is nothing but the called as what natural language processing which concern with what interaction between the computers and the human natural languages now why this is important because when we what we want to develop we want to develop the machine to which you can speak in the english to which you can speak with in the marathi to which you can speak in the hindi understood and in order to develop that machine the concept which is being very much important is what and need to be there is what natural language now when this become possible when machine when you can interact with the machine in the natural language only if machine can do the what natural language processing natural language processing in the sense machine should process that language machine should analyze that language and by processing and analyzing that language machine should able to understand that and machine should able to reply you in that language that is simply called as what the natural language processing understood uh, in particular uh, making the program computers to process and analyze large amount of natural language data if computer can process and analyze this natural language then only he can understand the natural language and after understanding that natural language only he can reply us in the natural language i will tell you the example of this okay next 
speech recognition now speech recognition is also the one of the application of natural language processing speech recognition in the sense when i am speaking with you you are understanding what is the meaning of the words which is being spoken by me understood understand the meaning of the different words or phrases spoken by particular person is nothing but what the speech recognition same i have mentioned yes speech recognition is ability of machine or program to identify words and phrases in spoken language and convert them into the machine readable format understood so another name for the machine uh, speech recognition is what voice recognition used to okay so speech recognition and the voice recognition is the quietly similar understood so using this uh, application of the speech recognition you can operate the device without touching that device without touching the keyboard of the device without touching the mouse of that device understood or you can write uh, without touching the keyboard mouse etc etc you can operate this th the device without touching the keyboard mouse uh, or or uh, without pressing the buttons also understood so speech recognition is also one of the application of the uh, artificial intelligence comes along with the natural language uh, in order to make this uh, possible speech recognition the natural language processing has to become completely successful understood completely successful in the sense machine should able to process and analyze your natural language like hindi english marathi like that kind of things understood now come to the application of uh, this uh, point two points the natural language processing and speech recognition understood i hope you have got the point of speech recognition is nothing but what machine should able to understand or uh, machine should uh, have, have the ability to identify the words or phrases spoken in particular natural language understood now two best examples are there related with these two concept uh, which you might have uh use also like now there are the various applications are available in the market okay which are supporting these uh, two important concept of natural language processing and the speech recognition understood like uh, along uh, for the uh, related with the different kinds of uh, platform for example uh ios the, uh, the operating system being utilized in the apple they are having their application for them that is the siri okay uh, for the android devices they are having the application that is the google now or the google assistant and uh, for the windows mobiles there is application like cortana now what this application does you can simply download this kind of you know if you are using the android mobile you can simply download this application like google assistant okay from the play store okay as i said these applications supporting these two concept natural language processing and the speech recognition now if you download the google assistant and if you can start it and you give instruction using your voice instruction like open the music player or tell me the who is the prime minister of india now without typing anything this particular uh, uh, your mobile device and the application which is there that is the google assistant will give you the answer automatically understood now how this is become possible because because of this application google assistant which is being developed by the google now that application does what that application understand your language for example you are giving the instruction in the language english it understand your language as a english understood and it will give you the reply in the english one understood that is nothing but what the machine should understand the natural language that is the point i am i am telling you here what uh, interaction between the computer and the human languages computer in the sense the machine and the human language so that your mobile device listening your instruction which is being given in the english language and giving you the answer in the english language now with the help of what with the help of that google assistant application understood how it become possible that google assistant application as a uh, 
program programmable uh, entity process your language whatever you are speaking and after processing it it understand it and by understanding it it gives you the answer of whatever question you will ask to that particular device you can also ask you can also give the different instruction like play the music player then it will automatically play the music player if you ask him to uh, play some uh, song it will automatically play that song also how it is becoming possible because of the concept of natural language processing and speech recognition as i said in the speech recognition machine having the ability to identify words and the phrases spoken in certain language and then converting it to the machine readable format understood so you know to understand these two points the uh, natural language processing and uh, speech recognition you must install the google assistant and try this thing with the google assistant okay if you have the apple mobile you can try with the siri application if you have the windows mobile you can try try with the cortana application understood so here i have also mentioned we can uh, we can using this kind of uh, uh, application we can uh, make them to uh, make them to make calls send messages set reminders take notes recognize music find uh, nearby restaurants check calendars and many more things you can do with the help of this application these are nothing but the perfect example of natural language processing and the speech recognition okay it is understanding the uh, meaning of your words if you are speak it in the english language now i said it can uh, natural language processing means it, it should process the any natural language like hindi english marathi likewise but nowadays only it is supporting the english language now in the further uh, in the future it will also support the different kind of uh, what you can say the uh, another languages also but nowadays it is working with the english language word okay so this is the great example okay uh, uh, which comes out of the application of artificial intelligence okay then another important application is the robotics okay robotics is also one more uh, very good popular exam uh, application of the artificial intelligence now first you need to understand what exactly mean by the robotics and then you'll uh, understand uh, by relating it with the artificial intelligence now if you see, if you, you must be knowing robotics that is the also branch of uh, uh, technology that deal with the physical robots that deal with the physical robots in the sense that deals with the making the robots okay designing of the robots uh, using the various kind of uh, uh, components collecting together that components like uh, uh, artificial hands legs these kind of things so by collecting together different uh, uh, these different kind of components and making the uh, human like machine is nothing but the concept uh, is nothing but the what you can say the robotics okay and you can also put some uh, programs within that uh, machines also that robots are program over machine that are usually able to carry out the series of action autonomously or the semi autonomously autonomously in the sense the machine should able to perform the activity without even uh, without giving the instruction also automatically understood now there are the number of robots who can perform the action only if you give the instruction and nowadays modern robots are there who can perform the action uh, by itself without even giving the instruction from the human being also okay so robotics is the part of the engineering and science that is deals with the creation and building the robots understood creation and the building the robots is nothing but called as a robotics and with that some computer programming okay now you can see if you observe the robots completely it look like the human being okay completely looks like the human being but they are just the machines okay even if they are looking like the human mix okay so robotics is simply building and constructing the robots understood with some uh, computer programming in that understood understood that is nothing but the field of the robotics making the robots now from where this word robotics come now this robotics word come from the word robot okay 
and this word robot has come from the word robota and from where this what actually meaning of this word robota robota means labor labor or the worker now to whom you call the labor or the worker hum kise labor or worker kehte hai jo jo kaam hum unko batayenge wahi kaam wo karenge unko hum kya kehte hai labor the certain uh, person who can work according to the given instruction that that person we are calling as a labor or the worker now what robot actually is doing robot is doing the same thing robot is doing the activity according to the instruction given by the human being understood that's why that's the, they are they are being named as a robots as a labors okay or robots banane ka jo concept hai the uh, the things which is related to the creation and building of the robots that field is called as what robotics understood now one point i have to, we have to understand here uh by how we can relate the robotics uh, how the robotics uh, is nothing but the application of artificial intelligence now in order to understand what what you know to understand robotics as a application of the artificial intelligence we need to understand the difference between the simple robot and the artificial robot here you have to take it as a artificial intelligent robot okay you have to understand the application of uh, robotics as a application of artificial intelligence we need to understand the difference between the simple robot and the artificial robot okay now suppose uh, uh, if i tell you the example for it first we understand about the simple robot okay now simple robot suppose there is a one workshop is there okay one workshop is there and uh, in that workshop there are the two objects uh, object there are the two locations are there location 1 and the location 2 okay there are the two locations location 1 and the location 2 and you ask the robot to take the object from location 1 to the location 2 koi koi you understand the situation there are the two uh, locations location 1 and the location 2 and the number of objects are kept at the location 1 and you ask the robot to take that objects and put that objects in the location 2 so robot has asked to do the only one activity take the object from the location 1 and put it in the location 2 understood now if the simple robot is there what is the meaning of simple robot is here the robot which is not having uh, any kind of camera along with that the robot is not having any kind of uh, what you can say in simple the robot without brain that is the simply meaning of simple robot means what he is being developed only to do the only one that task what task to take that object from one location and put that object to the another location now consider if you remove that object from location 1 and put it somewhere put it somewhere now what robot will do then robot will not do anything because it it that robot is not having uh, what you can say uh, camera along with that if it has a camera he can search it anywhere where exactly that object is but it doesn't have any camera so he will remain idle he will not do anything so that is nothing but the simple robot understood now that simple robot if you program that simple robot a simple robot can be program to pick up object and place it in the another location and repeat this task until you ask that robot to stop understood now this simple programming is being done with that robot but it has no camera it has no uh, what you can say uh, visual perception etc etc now if that simple robot we can make some addition to that like with the addition of camera and ai algorithms if that simple robot in that simple robot we make the addition of camera and the ai algorithms then then that robot can see the object even if you move that object somewhere you can you can uh, if you use the camera and the uh, camera and some uh, ai algorithms the machine learning algorithms then 
uh, AI algorithms along with the machine learning algorithm that robot can see the object even if you move that object he can detect what exactly that object is and determine from that it should be where it should be placed understood so that's this is nothing but the example of artificially intelligent robot understood so in case of the robotics if you want to make that robot quite intelligent means if you want to make that robot to act autonomously autonomously means without even giving the instruction also or what is the meaning of autonomous is nothing but what the robot should able to make the decision of its own okay now how the robots can make the decision of its own only when that robots is being added with some kind of extra sensors like cameras and other sensors and with that along with that some artificial intelligent algorithms then and then only that robots can make its decision by their own understood so that is the difference between the simple robot and artificially intelligent robot to make the ro simple robot artificially intelligent we need to add some we need to add some extra uh, what you can say the functionality like extra sensors along with that along with uh, we need to uh, add some uh, uh, programming intelligence in that through the ai algorithms etc etc now what are the ai algorithms etc that we will see understood so only if this is being done then only that robot can become the intelligent okay and so that's why this is being uh, put under the application of artificial intelligence uh, robotics because using the artificial intelligence the ro the simple robot can be made completely intelligent robots completely autonomous understood so that is the uh, good example of uh, uh, in the application of ai that is the robotics now here also i have shown now lot of the person having the confusion that the robotics and the artificial intelligence are the similar things but not there is a uh, exact difference is there you can see this is the separate field at uh, robotics and the, this is the artificial now this overlapping portion you can see uh, being shared by both of these two fields and uh, that point already i explained you this two fields sharing this middle area okay means to make the robotics in the sense to make the robot quite intelligent you have to take the help of what artificial intelligence and if you take the help of artificial intelligence you have to take the artificial help of the artificial intelligence means what you have to put the some kind of uh, intelligence within that simple robot through the some ai algorithms through the uh, uh, now what that ai algorithms will do what that ai uh, programming intelligence will do that programming intelligence will uh, that helpful for the cooperating or coordinating the different sensor that you are going to utilize within the robots understood and after utilizing the artificial intelligence with the uh, robotics then that robot becomes what that robot becomes the artificially intelligent robots understood so robotics is a different field artificial intelligence the different field robotics simply simply related to the uh, field of developing the robots etc it's artificial intelligence the thing but adding the kind of uh, 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 what you can say the intelligence within a machine so that that machine can behave like the human being so on and then then that then this robot now this robot is nothing but a perfect example of artificial intelligence which is nothing but what artificially intelligent robots okay so you just go through this uh, whatever i have written here then uh, now commonly uh, utilize applications or example of artificial intelligence which is now being utilized by the various uh, social sites and the uh, various uh, online product selling sites here i want to show you now i just want to show you the two live examples here how the artificial intelligence helping uh, the helping to the for the purpose of uh, what is a recommendation purpose and for the purpose of marketing purpose okay the two examples we are going to see here now when I, whenever i will see, i will use the word artificial intelligence that itself comes with the two fields the machine learning and the deep learning because in order to 
make the artificial intelligence completely successful there is a need of the machine learning understood now youtube recommendation behind the youtube recommendation there is a concept of artificial intelligence and behind the various product recommendation on various online site there is also the technique or technology that is the artificial intelligence how let's see now let me open the youtube okay youtube account suppose i i sign here with the youtube account okay now this is my youtube account and here you can see i have got the recommendations here you can see i have got the all the recommendations now i used to see the like uh, serial like mahabharat uh, uh, channels uh, like the business channels uh, other entertainment uh, kind of event etc etc okay so here automatically the recommendation being shown by Uh, youtube to me understood now how this become possible now this is become possible because the youtube uh, keep my previous uh, what you can say the browsing history my previous uh, uh, surfing records etc etc okay and based on that how this browsing history surfing records is nothing but acting as a data here understood and what the machine do machine compare this data and whenever next time i open the account machine by comparing my previous data machine recommending me to view this kind of things understood so that is nothing but the recommendation now here how this become possible how this is become possible only because of the concept of machine learning and this that's why i said uh, machine learning uses the data compare that data and then gives you the recommendation and this is nothing but like this is all uh, this is nothing but like uh, what you can say the non natural intelligence being available with the machine as a artificial intelligence now to this to uh, make this artificial intelligence successful which algorithms were being getting utilized here the machine learning algorithms understood now there are the various machine learning algorithm that you will see so here that is a best example i have shown you that is nothing but the youtube the application or the example of artificial intelligence in the youtube recommendation okay now let me tell you the second example that i told you regarding the product recommendation okay regarding the product recommendation by the amazon okay now whenever go to the site of the amazon and if you type here the redmi mobile it is showing with the redmi mobile if you click here okay now below you can see here it is let's see what is being written here what other items do customer buy after viewing these items means previously some customer has view this item and along with this item that customer has also view these items also and that customer has also view these items also understood and here this is nothing but what recommendation this these two parts this and this nothing but the recommendation provided by amazon to me now this recommendation provided by amazon to me based on some previous customer has viewed these and along with that he also viewed these also and that's why it is showing to me because i have opened this item and amazon is recommending me that the previous custom along with this item the previous customer has also viewed these and these now this is nothing but the one of the way of doing the marketing through the advertisement and this advertisement is being get done with the help of what with the help of the previous customer history based on the whatever the previous customer has view this item based on that this recommendation is done by the amazon understood now how this become possible only because of the 
artificial intelligence and artificial intelligence made successful by the machine learning machine keep the history of the pre with the help how the machine uh, analyze this kind of things with the help of the machine learning algorithm so with the help of the machine learning algorithm machine keep all this data compare this and whenever next time some person view this item machine already having along with this the history of the previously uh, person viewing this item along with that he might have viewed these items also and that's why he is recommending to me that along with this you can also view these items also understood